Here we are at formerly the South Florida Science Museum, now the new South Florida Science Center and Aquarium. You are looking at the results of a five million dollar capital campaign. Everything you see here has been done with five million dollars. That includes a brand new aquarium complex, the largest aquarium from Orlando to Miami, over 3,000 square feet of sharks and barracuda, a pop-up tank that you can actually crawl under and be standing in the middle of a coral reef, a huge touch tank, and Everglades exhibit. We have an Everglades diorama where you can see the animals of the Everglades and you can hear exactly what they sound like. And then we have a Florida Conservation Station where you, the visitor, turn into real-world biologists. You can even put on your goggles and lab coat and figure out all sorts of puzzles and experiments. And if you want to know more, we have a River of Grass kiosk which tells you the details of the River of Grass and the Everglades and how it impacts our ecosystem down to our very water that we drink. So, in addition to that, the centerpiece of the main exhibit hall is something that's called Science on a Sphere. This is out of this world. There's only 93 in the entire world, free in the state of Florida, and we have the only Science on a Sphere exhibit in South Florida. The rest are located up in Orlando, the other two. This is a six-foot digital dome, the digital sphere, actually, that has four uh, laser, projector, laser projectors that display over 500 data sets from NASA and NOAA. These are things like migration patterns, you can turn it into the moon, you can turn it into Jupiter, Venus, anything you want to at the touch of an iPad, you, the visitor, can actually control this ball. So it's really, really fantastic. that the South Florida Science Center has already seen. Susie, our favorite resident mastodon, is going to be receiving a makeover so that she can be outside and enjoy all the fun activities that we have for our science. Yeah. 